Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Along with airplanes, helicopters are one of the world's most recognized and used types of aircraft. Thanks to their vertical takeoff and landing and ease of maneuvering at low speeds, their versatility has allowed them to be a crucial element for different areas and industries. Of these aircraft, there are a few that stand out for their design, usefulness, and historical value. But it is possible to say that of this group, the MIL MI-26 could be at the top. This aircraft, designed for civil and military use, is renowned as one of the largest and most powerful helicopters ever produced. It was developed in the Soviet Union in the 70s to fulfill the government's need for a massive, heavy-lift helicopter to use in civil, industrial, and military operations, especially in remote or undeveloped areas. The prototype first flew on December 14, 1977. After various rounds of development, it became operational in 1983 and entered widespread service by 1985, with approximately 70 units produced. This helicopter has been used widely across various missions, including military transport, emergency evacuations, firefighting, and construction. It was especially noted for its role in the Chernobyl disaster, where it assisted containment efforts by delivering heavy equipment and materials. Nowadays, it continues to be valuable in disaster relief, often providing emergency support in areas inaccessible to other aircraft. Considering the years it has been in service and that it remains in constant use, the MI-26 follows arduous and detailed maintenance processes to ensure that its operation is adequate during the operations in which it is involved. Routine inspections include servicing and repairs in the exterior components of the aircraft, usually in the airframe, landing gear, and panel surfaces. Scheduled maintenance happens at specific flight hour intervals, such as 100, 500, and 1,000 hours. Components like the rotor blades, transmission, and hydraulic systems are thoroughly inspected, lubricated, and if necessary, replaced to prevent potential failures. With these checks and maintenance, the aircraft is ready to begin the operations assigned to it and exhibit its characteristics. Of them, the most notable is its loading capacity and space in its cargo hold. This area measures approximately 39 feet in length, 10.5 feet in width, and 9.8 feet in height. This provides a volume of about 3,884 cubic feet, allowing it to transport up to 44,000 pounds of cargo inside the helicopter. This space is large enough to accommodate multiple vehicles, large equipment, or up to 90 fully equipped troops. Without counting the crew, which consists of five members, including pilots, navigators, and flight engineers. This team works inside the cockpit, where the helicopter controls most of the instrumentation. In recently upgraded versions, like the MI-26T2, the cockpit is equipped with a digital avionics suite. and enhanced equipment like automatic flight control systems or advanced communication systems for coordination with ground personnel and other aircraft. From the cockpit, the crew members coordinate with the team on the ground to begin the startup process. During this step, the onboard auxiliary power unit is activated to provide power for the helicopter's systems, including avionics, navigation, and hydraulic systems. 
After this, the two ZMKB Progress turboshaft engines of the aircraft are started sequentially while the flight engineers monitor the system parameters. Once they are running and the checks are complete, the crew adjusts the throttle to achieve the necessary power for takeoff and flight. These same systems are used at the time of landing to stabilize and position the aircraft on the heliports. As the collective pitch decreases, the lift is reduced, allowing the MI-26 to settle onto the landing gear. All of these capabilities have allowed this helicopter to be useful to many nations, including Belarus, which uses them as powerful tools in rescue operations. The advantages of heavy transport helicopters have driven the development of different models with similar concepts. In recent decades, the U.S. Marine Corps began a program to modernize its heavy lift capabilities. This resulted in replacing the aging CH-53E models with a newly developed model called CH-53K. This helicopter made its first flight in October 2015, and the first unit was delivered to the USMC in May 2018. After extensive testing, including aerial refueling and sea trials, full-scale deliveries began, with the Marine Corps planning to acquire 200 CH-53K helicopters in total. Its development included the use of three General Electric T408 turboshaft engines, which can deliver more than 7,300 shaft horsepower each. Compared to its predecessor, the new model can achieve 57% more power and 18% greater fuel efficiency. Like other aircraft in its category, the CH-53K must carry out constant maintenance work. These are carried out based on daily aircraft inspections, implemented before and after a flight. With this, the ground team determines the systems that require repair or replacement during scheduled maintenance. The CH-53K has a lower maintenance ratio compared to the CH-53E, aiming for around two hours of maintenance per flight hour, a significant reduction from the CH-53E's higher ratio. Also, manufacturers like Sikorsky and Lockheed Martin provide training and support systems for maintainers and operators. Such as a flight training device that simulates a cockpit environment, providing maintainers with experience in troubleshooting and system repairs. In addition to its ease of maintenance, the development of this aircraft has brought better performance in cargo and flight capabilities compared to other models. The modernized avionics and diagnostic systems of the aircraft allow the crew to get real-time feedback on the helicopter's systems. The T408 engines have digital controls that can read engine status, fuel levels, and power, which are displayed in the cockpit to ease the pre-flight procedures. Once in the air, the helicopter can showcase its lifting capabilities with its large internal cargo area that can hold larger items, including 463L pallets and high-mobility multi-purpose wheeled vehicles. In the case of handling an external load, the aircraft features a triple external cargo hook system that allows it to lift multiple loads independently, which is particularly useful in scenarios requiring varied cargo drop-offs. VTOL aircraft have given the aeronautical industry greater versatility with their vertical flight capabilities. 
Although helicopters are the most common aircraft within this classification, others are equally iconic in the military forces. This is the case of the B-22 Osprey. Developed by Bell Helicopter and Boeing for the U.S. military years after the start of the VTOL experimental program in the mid-80s. It has since been used in countless accomplished missions and could have changed the outcome of others that ended badly. For example, Operation Eagle Claw in April 1980 had the objective of rescuing 53 members of the U.S. Embassy in Iran. However, the mission had to be aborted due to mechanical problems with the helicopters. Negative results like these have driven aircraft development, such as the Osprey MV-22. Its tilt rotor technology allows it to adapt to different missions, such as serving as support during amphibious operations, especially during launch and recovery operations. It not only has the vertical takeoff capabilities of a helicopter, but once airborne, its propellers can turn 90 degrees, converting the Osprey to a more fuel-efficient, higher-speed aircraft, like a turboprop aircraft. This versatility allows it to be used in multiple scenarios. In addition, the aircraft can reach speeds of over 275 knots, making it significantly faster than conventional helicopters. It has a range of over 1,125 nautical miles, allowing it to travel long distances without refueling. These features are accompanied by a defense weapons system that includes systems such as sensors and a 7.62 millimeter minigun turret. The unique weapon is mounted in the aft cargo bay or the belly of the Osprey. It is operated via a remote control inside the aircraft in an interface similar to a video game. The Marines can use it for defensive purposes thanks to its rapid fire capabilities and targeting aid systems. Since its development, this aircraft has been used only by the US Navy, Marine Corps, and the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force for troop transport, medical evacuation, and cargo delivery. The acquisition of these aircraft by the Asian country was seen as a way to increase their amphibious capabilities. Considering Japan's geography in the Pacific Ocean and the great defense ties between this country and the United States. Once purchased, the Ospreys were delivered by a commercial cargo ship in a process assisted by the Marine Corps. This help from the U.S. forces went beyond assistance in delivery logistics. Still, it was also responsible for preparing the Japanese forces with training and joint drills to improve their operations with the B-22. Exercises like Iron Fist combine the ability of Japan and the U.S. to conduct amphibious and land-based contingency operations. These drills allow Japanese forces to become familiar with the characteristics of the aircraft in different conditions. Due to the versatility of the B-22, the U.S. military forces saw an opportunity to use it in different Marine Corps squadrons, including the Marine Helicopter Squadron 1, or HMX-1. This unit is responsible for the transportation of the President and Vice President of the United States, heads of state, and other VIPs. This unit must be aware of the presidential entourage at all times, managing complex logistics to transport this type of people. Since it is not only individuals, but also an entire team accompanying these VIPs, including press members. This is why the Ospreys are a fundamental piece during such critical operations. So the military forces must ensure that the aircraft is always in perfect condition. Encouraging the formation of a specific maintenance unit called the 727th Special Operations Aircraft. With training programs, equipment, and a team of 230 people, this unit can keep the Ospreys fully operational. From the massive lifting power of the MI-26, 
to the modern efficiency of the CH53K and the unique versatility of the V-22 Osprey, rotary and tilt rotor aircraft have transformed the way militaries and civilian operators approach logistics, rescue, and combat support. Each model represents decades of innovation, responding to past challenges and anticipating the needs of future operations. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.